Okay, it still does say uh, uh, League of Legends and, and such. Cool. Um, yeah, welcome back. Woke up super late. This is that a stream Monster Hunter. Let's stream some League of Legends Swarm because I don't know. I don't know if my audience is just like, oh, well, he's not going to be online today and then isn't going to show up. So let's play the game that they, they don't usually show up for. It only seems fair. I'm like, I'm up against a boss on, on Monster Hunter and I don't want people to miss that. <laughs> um, right, let's see what our next objective is. Win a Seraphin with projectile count and ability haste. Let's try hard mode. On the first map, that's probably a good idea. Alright, scope. This can benefit from projectiles. Hmm, but I don't really want area. Again, I think no on all of these. Yeah, crit chance could be cool. We're going to go with the movement speed. I don't think you can ever make the bunny blast have extra projectiles at all. I think it's always just going to be two. Yeah, just take sand wave up to level two. Yeah, that's a lot of extra projectiles. Bam. I just need uh, projectile down as a passive. And to win. Should be the boss monster any time now. I guess not. Yeah, this can crit and this one can uh, have bonus projectiles as well. This is a shame. I wanted to do this while I had the boon, of course, but 
if it was saying like the, the the volleyball, I don't want this guy while doing that. That'd just be a disaster. Projectile cam. We got him. Mission completed if I can win. Even though we get nothing for that level up, it would be worth it to take it further. I think this is a character that I wouldn't mind ultimate haste on. The ultimate is really good. Um... I think we're just going to get like a bunch of projectiles and things. Taking damage wouldn't hurt. them rather than break out the side. Yep. It's been a bit of a slow start. It's been a little bit of a mess, but you know, we'll be fine. I will complete that quest at some point. So we're not taking duration. I don't think we're going to want max health. Let's carry on with crit chance. Really, I should be using it for the the trial, but I guess we'll be using it here instead. Okay, what quest did we get? Yeah, because I woke up uh, super late, I was worried about you know people missing the Nergigante. Both both you, if you didn't, if you were doing something else, or if there's people silently watching, which I always hope there's some extra some people out there like I didn't want them to miss no gigante either so we're just gonna do it this way oh yeah this is fun this is a lot of fun uh lose movement speed but gain max health and health regen nah let's get extra money it's just hard mode we'll be fine right chance. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take out all of these guys with the ult. Bang. Everybody did. Right, we were, we wanted projectiles, so this is perfect. And that really clears the screen. I actually I actually quite like Seraphin. She's she's a good character. So this is fine, later rang. That's projectiles I think. I'm certain of it. Projectile count, yep. Oh, oh, oh. I'm hoping Nergigante is easier than uh, Rajang 2. That's one thing I'm hoping for. Because my god. I just don't get how you're supposed to win against Rajang. At all. Apart from that one freak accidental win that I had against Rajang 1. Purely an accident, I tell you. I, I don't think I'll be able to use the gun for it. I think I'll have to go back to a melee weapon just so that, you know, when he does the blast, I'm not trying to aim down the scope and get insta-killed by it. Uh, let's see. Neither of those projectiles will get the ability haste.
Okay, Lion Estimate. Awesome. A lot of money on the floor. Oh, I'm so going to press the R button now. Bang. Get out of here. <laughs> um, I don't think these are projectiles based static sword. I'm sure we can find like another projectile one somewhere. There's got to be at least one more projectile type weapon. And then look at that. Have some of this money. I really need to find a vacuum somewhere and just get all of these. Level the blade around a little bit. Oh, look at the amount of projectiles on the, the blade. <laughs> That's so good. There's so much later hangage. Oh, there's the vacuum. Oh my god, ultimate power. Nice. None of these are projectiles. Let's get the ability ace rocking. Gotta stay away from those benches. Benches equals death. Oh, here we go. Oh, let me out. I need that boon. That. Out of the way, everybody. You've greatly reduced. No, I'll be fine. I don't need my view. I can just sit here and it'll be okay. True fact. I'm going to try just taking the static sword, maybe, if I can't, you know, seem to find what... I'm, no, I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll. More sound wave. Uh, ooh, projectiles. Really? Well, there might not be. Oh, there's... We've got the, the battle bunny bow. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I think I want the Battle Bunny bow, but I'm running out of re-rolls re here. Oh, dude! Dude! Yep, and we got the crit for it. Ah, oh, I'm i I'm having a lucky day. Maybe I should go and fight uh, Nergagante. <laughs> so good. Just the right thing on the last re-roll. It doesn't get much better than that. It's so satisfying. could easily leave five cards up on the map because I haven't got a single evolve yet. So we'll just we'll just avoid all the cards for now. No, I quite like this character. It's like playing Jinx if you build it this way, but without being paper thin. It's like you got that early game, just pop a shield on, you'll be fine, and also the old just really clears the world while also being very very safe kind of it's kind of interesting it's not that I don't like jinx I just think this is just even safer at the start I'm really getting into the character, I think she's called Zalia or Zaria or something, that throws the, the quills and then they return to her when you use the E key. That character's really good. Yeah, Zaya. 
Because the, the route that you do on people when the things come back, the extra power up based on pickups that you're always getting throughout the game is really, really handy. It makes it just like unlimited fast later on because you're always proccing it. This is really, really good. I think this one's area size, which affects nothing I have. It's a boon that does nothing. Yay! And yeah, once you do it, so quick is pretty spammable. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I've had some good luck with that character so far. Like, when I'm thinking about how I might complete all the other levels on the hardest difficulty, I've, I've got like a short list of characters that I really, really, really enjoy that I think do really well. And other characters that I probably wouldn't play for the hardest difficulty. Okay, we've got some new ones on here, I think. Uh, nope, just just this one is one of the newer ones. Now oh, I like this one, Experience Fighter. At 2% damage and movement speed for every XP orb that you've picked up in the last 4 seconds, that just stays with you forever and you just constantly get this cool buff that's like at least 6% damage all the time and then 6% movement speed. So this one's great, but I also like the ultimate haste for this character. So we're going to go with the ultimate haste because the ultimate's so dang good. Ready every 30 seconds, that's amazing. Anytime I want to live, I can just click that and be alive. Only done it with Riven and Zaya actually. Didn't fancy doing all objectives. Oh, okay, then I've picked some of the good characters because I'm really into Riven. Riven is an amazing playstyle. And then I was just saying I like the Zaya character. I clearly got it right. I think we're going to end up evolving like everything at the same time. Everything hanging around at level 3 and 4. It's nice to see a game where I'm, you know, I'm coming to the right conclusions about who's good and who's bad without looking it up. Soundwave first, of course. Then we'll evolve the other stuff. This is going to be awesome once we get the ring kind of shaped sound waves. Here we go, Anima Echo. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that makes such a difference. It's so good. But I think this character would also make my list of characters that kind of work that are kind of dang good. Um, ow. Because even though I just lost a load of health just then, and that's bad, now that the passive health regen is 18, it's not impossible for me to recover without even getting more health orbs. It'd be a different case if I was on a boss right now. It's not really the end of the world. I think I have more than five cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we have more than five cards in the field, so I can pick up some of these. Doesn't really matter. Okay. We only need four out there to evolve things. I have some of this noise. Wow, I made a load of money. What the heck? Oh, and then more money. <clears throat> More money spawned up there after I left. Thanks, game. Grab this and head towards the next quest. It's a car. I win. Doesn't matter what this is, I'm in a car. Job done. Death wave, run. I'm not gonna run, I'm gonna drive. That we'd just be cruising. So we really need a vortex. Rather than individually picking up any of this money, I just I just want a vortex. Look at this poor guy, he's getting annihilated out here. Or maybe not. There we go, there we go. He's gone. Like this. So yesterday I was playing a, a character, um, I actually did a stream after the stream because I didn't feel like I played enough video games last night, and I was playing a bit more of this, and I, I was playing someone, I think it was 
are you? And uh, I got three vortexes in a row and I didn't need them. Or it might have been four. And whenever I want a vortex, I can never find one. I don't know what it is. It, it drives me absolutely insane that I cannot ever find the vortex I want. I'm avoiding all this money on purpose because it's like, I'm going to go find a vortex. I don't need to pick it up. Let's go. And, and then no. No. I didn't. And I won't. We're going to time out before I find one again. This is what happened to me yesterday. Let, let me through, fellas. Just not dealing enough damage to some of these. Come on. Let me destroy that box in the corner. And it was there was just money in it. Okay, whatever. I'm I'm finally gonna take my last passes. We're gonna pick up radius. <laughs> just give me some of this stuff. Please. I think we get locked in a room on this map as well. Let's find out. Do I get locked in a room on this one? Yes. Son of a I didn't evolve any of those things because I was looking around for the thing and I could I could have evolved everything with the amount of cards that I had just flopping around over there. So angry. I finished my quest. I, I did make a lot of money anyway, but mad about it. Mad about stuff. Yeah. Why are the sharks the same color as my abilities? Come on. It's not very good for clarity. Like, this entire game mode just loves blue and purple. I was complaining yesterday about how the trains are blue and purple. On top of all the enemies being blue and purple, but also all of this character's abilities are blue and purple on top of all the blue and purple. Haven't you guys ever heard of red? Well, I guess the health bars are red. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God damn it. There's a lot of Meteor, right where I'm sitting. Oh, that doesn't stop him. Jeez. I do like this build, though. Very fun. Easy does it. There we go. Hard mode is fine for some characters. Alright. So, pretty impressive, right? I would not lie, little leader, that was impressive. I didn't think someone who uses their legs so little could kick so much. <laughs> Bleep. I knew all you needed was to see me out in the field. So when do we meet up for workout time? Whoa, slow down. We didn't say you were invited yet. But I probably obliterated a thousand grunts just of my own. Didn't you see me pew pew so fast and furiously? No, we saw. I don't think we'll ever unsee. Our training also takes discipline. We'll have to agree to some terms. I can do that. I'm agreeable. Repeat after me. As a member of the secret gym club, I swear to uphold the sanctity of our very serious order. <laughs> and then she says it. To grind until I break my records. To lift double my weight. To always spot for my squad. That's it. That's it. I can join the secret gym sesh. Yeah, you prove yourself plus. You're good company. Welcome aboard, little leader. Yay, I swear I won't tell anybody. Also, I have the perfect workout Ah, oh, they let her. They let her join. And we got circular stats unlocked. Now there was like two more quests, but they didn't seem to lead on to anything. But because they didn't lead on to anything, I'm like, aha, there's a secret after doing these. I'm certain of it. Because why would you have two loose ones at the end that just give you a thousand gold? That's dumb. 